Hi guys, I'm back with part two of my What I Got For Christmas haul. Um, again, reiterate, totally spoiled, not bragging, just eternally grateful to everyone who actually got me something this Christmas. Um, amazing friends and family, I cannot, I couldn't ask for more, I really couldn't ask for more. Um, so yeah, this one is basically home, lifestyle and funnies. I got lots of funny things this year. <laughs> Um, yeah, we may as well start off with the two funniest cushions. Now, cushions aren't particularly humorous, however, enjoys. Um, yeah, these were from my friend Helen. Um, yeah, first of all, this is one of my most used ones. Lick lips. I always use this smiley because I'm greedy. Um, so yeah, this was sort of smiley cushion the gorgeous the really soft sort of furry velour so really thing so I got this one and the next one I don't know what to say about this and I asked my godmother what she thought this was and she's like I don't know she says I know what I think it looks like a piece of poo she got me the poo um, joy cushion um my mum just looked at it and she was like yeah, I know who got you that. <laughs> um, yeah, just the type of person she is. But um, yeah, a poo and joy. It's actually lovely. It feels really soft and snuggly. But it's a piece of poo. Does it actually say it's a piece of poo on the cushion? No, it doesn't. Well, there you go. It doesn't say it's a piece of poo. They tried, didn't they try to say that this wasn't a piece of poo? But when you put the voice activation on, well, whatever it's called, it does say a small piece of poo. <laughs> So it's a piece of poo but it's lovely and it's dead soft and it's really cuddly so I'm cuddling up to a piece of poo right yay humorous the same friend also got me wait I'm just trying to find it in this right I've opened I'm sorry about the mess of this because I couldn't get the box open any other way um pet selfies so it's pet selfie accessories so you get all sorts of things like tongs hats Boards of shame that you can write what you can know your pet's done and put it next to it. Um, I'll just give you an example of this up. Yeah, so you can put bunny ears on your pet and things like that. So yeah, that was quite cute. I will actually play with that with them if they ever come close enough. They're not liking, it's really windy today, and they're not liking the wind at all, so I can't actually get them to sit down near me for five minutes. Especially when there's still Christmas leftovers floating around the house. Yeah, no, you can't get between cats and meat. <laughs> but I will try, I will try, so keep an eye on my Instagram for that. Um, another friend got me something for me, and she got me this, which is a My Little Pony dress-up mug. Now, obviously, I'm of the My Little Pony um, generation. I was a child of the 80s, when the ponies look normal, they just look wrong now, I don't know what they've done to them. It's like K-Bears, they've changed what K-Bears look like. And basically what it is, just a My Little Pony mug, but what you can do, you get four sheets of reusable stickers, so you can dress your pony up. So I'll just take some off just as an example, just to show you what it looks like. Um, right, now how is this done? There. So you can put little hats on, you can put little cheerleader outfits on, you can dress them up as things and everything. Yay, I'm an adult child. <laughs> um, I think it's really cute actually. And the stickers are reusable, so you just peel them said as long as you don't like wash it with them on. So you just peel them off and put some more on. But there's like sunglasses, there's all sorts of things. So that was from another friend. Um, I think you do reach a certain age where you're just like, yeah, I want to be a child again. <laughs> so that was from another friend. Um, and sticking with the really mature presents, I also got Minions. Minions on DVD. If you have this, watch one of the bonus featurettes, which is Jingle Bells Minion style. I think this was all the rage last year. It was on Facebook and everything. And it was Minions kind of singing Jingle Bells. Well, this has got the sing-along version and it's things about poo and tandoori and things in the lyrics. So it's actually really, really funny. So definitely recommend watching that if you haven't already. Um, OK, 
okay slightly more sensible lifestyle presents a candle um this is a letter l which obviously louise and it's from next and it smells of i think it's white jasmine and i love jasmine i got one of the diffusers and it smells identical to that yeah really really nice um they did a range of monogram things this year i got i got a christmas bauble my mum got me this um, and i managed to get one for my friend in the sale so uh, i'm not saying which friend it is but i managed to get one from for a friend in the sale so i'm hoping that that comes because sometimes sale things come sometimes they don't but it's really nice like that it's more of a summery fragrance so i'll keep that thing i'll keep that till the spring summer um also got oh i forgot something also got an address book um yeah basically it's waldo pancake and it says quite sweet how we still write everything down just in case aliens come up and smash our computers or something well that's true because you don't realize how much information you have on your computer or your ipad or your phone so you don't use it or you can't access it so yeah and it's got also it's got, i like the little tabs down the side so you can find the pages and for example, it's got a little funny thing at the beginning of each one. E isn't for everyone. How very true. And then it's got, what's it got? G wants chicken focaccia, not cucumbers. Yeah, Waldo Pancake, very cool, um, very funny. I love the typeface because I love comics on the mess. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm weird in that respect. It's my favorite typeface. Um, yeah, so dress book. And she also got me a diary. Um, I already got a diary, um, but it's a full-sized one, um, like a planner. So I'm just, what I think I'll do with this one, I think I'll use this one as a handbag one. I have to find the bin. This is the bin. Um, yeah, so this is quite a sweet one. Um, and it's got little kitty cats on, so I think this is going to be my handbag one, and I'm going to have the other one as a desk diary. So yeah, I think that's really cute. I love anything with weird cats on. So I love that. Um, what else? And it's all ticked out in the bottom of the bag. Right, first of all, look how gorgeous this box is. It, you probably can't see. In fact, you can't see. It's just looking white. It's all iridescent, like sort of long water effect. It's really pretty. And what was inside is this a set of lips. But it's not just for show or anything like that. What it is, it is an emergency iPhone and iPad charger. So a lot of these you can only charge an iPhone on. But this one, it's got both types of cables. So you can charge old iPhones, new iPhones, iPads and so on. And you can actually charge iPads on this. It'll give you, I think it said it'll give you at least an hour's charge on an iPad. So I'm really think useful with this because there's nothing worse than being on a bus or a train or something and you can see the phone going to one bar and there's nothing you can do about it so emergency chargers and I think that one's quite cool it's quite big actually it's a bit chunky but and obviously you need to carry the cable with it so I think I'll put in a little pouch or something but it's quite cool and it does work because I checked it you just charge it up via your um USB so I just stuck it in the USB in my computer and it is called the Kiss Kiss Power Bank. So that was that. That was off my mum because she always gets paranoid when my phone dies or something and I can't contact me. So there we go. And the final thing I got in the lifestyle category was from my mummy as well. My mummy was very, very generous this year. And I uh, do I do have a sneaky suspicion as to why she got me this one. Um, it is a I haven't got the actual radio because it's in my room, but it is basically a DAB digital radio with Bluetooth. And I think she wants my a nice pure evoke one that's in my bedroom. She ain't getting it. <laughs> that's going in my um, office area. 
So um, yeah, um, basically it's got very calf kids and esque, it's all the floor and everything, so it looks nice in my room. And it's a DAB radio, I do listen to football, I'm afraid. I do listen to football sometimes, so that's what that's for. And you can also hook it up to Bluetooth, so you can play music from your iPhone, your iPad or whatever, and use it as a speaker for that. So that was really cool, and that was another surprise. She apparently she'd had that for months, and she'd hit it right in front of me and I'd never noticed it. Oh well. Right, I'm going to have a little break and then I'm going to film the next one which is all about beauty and it's a long one. So thanks for watching, any questions please leave them below and I'll see you in part three.